The development of our claw pump was maybe the hardest thing we've ever done while I've been at Republic. The early years were, we call them the dark days, you know, it was a lot of failed tests. There were a lot of turn the hammer switch on and hope that it doesn't seize up or, or blow up. Because the requirements are so extreme, it's such a precise product. Because it stretched our manufacturing capabilities, our design capabilities. It really helped the company learn a lot of things. We just had to learn them the hard way. Claw line started around 2013, actually. So it was an endeavor the CEO wanted to take on. Somewhere along the way, we decided, well, we're distributing vacuum pumps, but we want to make our own. And so that's been probably about eight years ago when we made our first rotary claw vacuum pump. I came on as a junior engineer. Through that, I kind of grew into the lead engineer on the project. And then now I manage engineers that I'm trying to train to be able to work on the project and design new product. So claw pumps offer a few unique advantages. They are more efficient. They use less motor power to create the same level of vacuum compared to other technologies. They're very, very low maintenance, they have routine, sort of like a car, so predictable maintenance is key. And they can run continuously in deep vacuum in relatively harsh conditions. Some of the other technologies are a little more fragile in harsh conditions and require a lot more upkeep and a lot more maintenance. So cost-wise, time-wise, overall less pain. Our claw line consists of six pumps, and they're gonna range from the biggest one, which is 10 horse, and the smallest one is gonna be a two horse unit. Really what differentiates the line is gonna be the flow and how much vacuum they can get. So the two largest ones can get up to 24, 25 inches at rough vacuum. They have a higher capacity so they can get more air through, so it's really process dependent. If you need a lot of air flow in your process, you're pulling on a large table, those sort of things, those are gonna be the best fit. The four smaller pumps move less air, but they can get deeper vacuum. So as far as applications, you can plug these into a lot of different places. Really, we're trying to cover different kinds of performance points so that we can satisfy all of our customers' needs. Our claw line competes with a lot of the large claw manufacturers globally. The differentiator, I think, is we have a lot more flexibility than those larger companies and we can fine tune to specific applications, we're quicker to react and troubleshoot. A lot of the advantages we offer are under our agility. I still feel this way that if we could develop the claw pump, we can almost do whatever we want to do. But we still have that desire to get feedback from the field and find out how can we increase the satisfaction of the customers. And we're really committed to putting out a good solution so that, that communication line is open. It helps us not design this in a vacuum, no pun intended.